So we just finished the uh, south side of the carriage house. There's a little shade over here so you can see better. It's pretty bright out today. The other, yesterday wasn't too bad. It was a nice day, cooler for painting. And then the day before it was rainy, so I actually painted through three rain showers. But with that old, large overhang, it wasn't even hitting me. Hitting the edge of the lift, but not me. Okay, so I thought this would be a good time to talk about, first of all, why did it peel? And you can see some peeling right down there. So there's a couple factors. One is, you can see where it peeled here, and it's on top of the old leaded paint. So one might say, well, that's obvious. You have to take all the old paint off. Yeah, that could be said, but here's the thing. We painted over tons of that paint. And in a lot of places, it isn't peeling at all. So it really depends on the environment. When you're on the side of the house that doesn't get much sun, it's really holding fine. There doesn't seem to be any effect. Now down here, that could be another reason. That could be because we have this, all these plants down here, which look great. And so it's a compound factor compound factors going on here. Other reasons could be how the house is heated. Are the walls inside painted with a paint that would stop some of the vapor going out through? What paint you're using? How much rain is hitting it? So all these factors. So for us, it came down to a, yeah, ideally maybe I would like to get it all off, but the reality is we have a major estate here. We have lots of painting to do and that could have buried us. So coming back through and hit, getting some stuff later on, here we have some peeling going on, but the reason is, is because water's coming down, hitting here, splashing there. So we can solve that other ways. I haven't figured out which way I'm gonna go for it yet, but eventually I'm gonna do it. Other areas, over here we had the siding was really bad shape right up through here, if I remember correctly, and I know I do. I was afraid that the paint wouldn't stick at all because it was so, the boards were just really worn, weathered. But yeah, we're looking at it now and it's looking pretty good yet, and that's after, say, seven years. So, sure, paint doesn't last forever, but then again, up in those peaks, up here, here underneath the eaves, there wasn't any peeling when we orig originally removed the other siding. And there's no sign of degradation now. It probably is going to last a long time. The problem is whenever you paint, you're probably going to want to do all of it. So what I did up there was a light coat and then two coats down through here. And that was just the very top that I did the light coat on. Okay, that's my point of view of paints. Right now we're using the latex, uh, good quality, and I think it's going well.